Life's good, Shikari. Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create a side swoop blunt cut look using icy hair straight wig. And they did send over this uh, lace front uh, straight wig in a 22 inch. It um, came pre-plucked which was a good thing so I really didn't have to do any plucking. Uh, the wig was super, super soft. Um, the lace is transparent. It has nice little parting space in it. It has a few combs in it um, towards the inside and the bottom back as well and today i'm going to be installing this on one of my loyal clients and as i mentioned we will be doing the side swoop um you know look because i have not done that style um on my channel yet so i wanted to bring you guys this video on how to correctly and you know um style this look and install your wig and everything like that so i went ahead and uh braided her off camera and i just took that ruby kisses foundation and level 16 and i applied that on the front end of her stocking cap and i also applied that same foundation color using the lighter shade in that level 16 palette and applied it on the inside and the top of that lace and now i'm going to go in with my beautiful hustlers uh, lace made adhesive which is my own brand of lace glue which will be in stock in the next two weeks i'm waiting on my shipment to come in so you guys can be able to uh, place your orders again and I'm just going to go ahead and begin to uh, spread out my layers of glue. I will use four layers today for her install. And what you want to do is just, you know, apply your glue and spread it out nice and smooth. That way it will dry clear quickly and you will begin to add the layers as, you know, as many layers as wanted, needed, or, you know, whichever you prefer. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that until all of my layers are on. And then I will go ahead and begin to pull her lace down into her glue. So now that I've added all of the layers, I'm going to go ahead while that glue is clear and pull that lace down into that glue. And you want to have them assist you and hold each side down. That way you are able to place the wig where it needs to be. And then go ahead and blow dry the lace on the heat setting um, on your blow dryer, which helps melt that lace in, you know, really, really good. So just have them firmly hold it as you blow dry that lace in on the heat setting. And then I also like to go in and take my you know comb and just comb that 
hair backwards into that lace just to make sure the uh, wig is applied on nice and neatly and using that extra lace that's still on the cap just using that lace to apply pressure to that lace being in that glue and then once you pretty much get it uh, tacked down you can go ahead and begin to cut off the extra lace around the ears and off the hairline and i'm going to work with you know one side at a time so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing so i'm going to start by cutting the extra lace around the ear and just going in with an eyebrow razor i'm just going to go ahead and just you know cut off all the extra lace that is not needed And after you do that, you just want to go ahead and cut off any extra lace that is still, you know, unnecessary needed instead of you just gluing um, it down. So what I did with this install is most of the hair that, most of the lace that really wasn't needed, I just went ahead and cut it off. But if I did need that lace to cover like, you know, any of the her uh, natural hairline or anything like that, I did use... Um, you know more adhesive to tack it down but other than that if the lace is not needed you can honestly just go ahead and cut it off and it will save you some product and time as well so you will see that I really didn't tack anything down today because it wasn't necessary like if, like I mentioned if I needed it to be there then I will go ahead and tack it down but if that extra lace was not necessary I just went in really close um, as close to the hairline as possible with the scissors and just you know cut that extra lace right on off so I'm just going to um you know do uh, this section over here on the side like in the sideburn area and then I will go ahead and repeat the same exact steps to the other side as well And after tacking all of that down, I'm just going back in with my blow dryer once again on the heat setting and just making sure that, you know, that lace is melted on in. Now, before I spray the hairline with holding spray and do the whole melt belt process, what I'm going to do is just take, um, you know, I'm going to take the uh, comb and just go ahead and part off, um, you know, like the whole 
parting space area and just pulling down my baby hair area so that can just already be sectioned out um, out of the way and then I'm going to take my wax stick and apply the wax stick all on the top of the lace wig um, everywhere that I will be hot combing and what that glam wax stick does is just get all those uh, flyaways and it also presses the hair out really nice and silky straight once you apply the heat to it with your hot comb and everything like that so I'm just going to do that step now that way when I do um, you know uh, remove the melt belt and everything like that I could just get straight into hot combing it out and making sure it's nice and neat And another thing I like to uh, always point out too, um, when you are using a holding spray, make sure that you spray back, um, you comb back the hairs nice and neatly um, on the hairline after you spray it. That way when you remove the melt belt, the hairline is still neat and not just mashed down. So I always comb it down before I tie it down so it is applied neatly. And I'm just gonna take that and just pull it and just allow that to dry so in the meantime while that is drying off camera i did go ahead and um you know flat iron the hair but first um before i even get into flat ironing the hair i'm just going to show you guys how i sew down the back so based on the braid down method that you use um you should have at least one braid down to the very bottom so what i like to do when it comes to like these lace front wigs um i pull and i stretch uh, that wig um, that wig down to the last braid and I just stitch across the you know stitch going sideways across the wig to secure that um, you know that wig is on and it's not going to lift up or you know flip off the head so I'm just um, taking my needle through that bottom braid and just stitching through it that way the wig is secured to the very last braid at the bottom of the head So now that I am um, done, you know, stitching and I let it dry and flat ironed her hair out, I'm removing that melt bell and just combing out the hairline so that it is nice and super soft. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and, you know, comb all of that out and then I will go in with my hot comb and begin to press out all of the areas where I apply um, my glam wax stick so I can get the roots in this wig nice, flat, and sleek. So I'm just going to comb the hairline out once again, applying more glam wax and hot comb everything out till it's nice, smooth, and flat. Now to achieve a really nice, neat, flat, and smooth um, swoop, 
you're gonna have to like wax and hot comb in between you know the top of that wig to make sure that all the roots are laid down nice and smooth so you here you see me applying wax and I'm just hot combing it behind the ear because that's where it's going to fall and I'm just gonna part off sections and really put that glam wax at the root and hot comb all of that out because you need that whole top area to be flat and smooth in order for your swoop to be nice flat and smooth so I'm just going to continue to do that until I am satisfied with the results of the flatness of the wig and then using my got to be holding spray and my wax stick as well and a blow dryer on the heat setting I will begin to shape um, mold and you know um, get that swoop pretty much swooped <laughs> so I'm going to um, like I mentioned, uh, just start to create that swoop look and just, you pretty much wanna just comb it and have it falling in the direction that you want it to go. But make sure you have your part, um, how it needs to be that way it's nice and neat and everything just makes sense and flows. So I'm just going over my part one more time before I begin to swoop anything. And I'm doing a, like a C curved part. Um, because this is a, a lace front wig, so I had to do the part kind of higher up for it to kind of, um, you know, for it to look right and a swoop to be well parted off and everything like that. So I'm just going to take that got to be spread like I mentioned, spread on the hair, comb it down, blow dry it to make sure it's no flyaways, everything is nice, flat, and neat. And I would begin to um, swoop it. And it's kind of like a soft C motion that you want to go for just to get that nice a swoop effect you don't want it to go directly to the side you actually do want it to you know swoop around the forehead so what I like to do is kind of get the swoop in motion first and then um just push the hair behind the ear before I mold it that way I can get pretty much like a guideline of how it's going to look and then once I get that desired curve that I'm looking for I will go ahead and begin to add um, more spray and wax and as you can see I am using that wax stick now to just smooth everything out and give it a nice little shine and once i'm satisfied where where the swoop is going to lay i will go in with that uh got to be holding spray once again spray it and blow dry it into place And the goal to the swoop is having it as neat as possible. So just continue to, you know, lay down flyaways in your wax stick and your got to be. And then once you get a desired swoop, just go ahead and grab you a few bobby pins and you want to pin that swoop down. Now, depending on how far back you want your swoop to go is on you. But I like to um, kind of bring that hair forward on top of the swoop. And that piece that's down right there that I have on the side, that will be her sideburn for that uh, side. So make sure you do it, you know, if you are doing a sideburn on a swoop side that you pull that hair out first before you begin to swoop. And I just took a little bit of that got to be spray and laid it on top of where I want that hair to fall over the swoop. That way it does not move and it just, you know, flows how it's supposed to. And now that I got the swoop done, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the extra hair on the side and just go ahead and swoop that sideburn into place. And, you know, the hair stores are closed, guys, and my products is just running so low. So um, I wanted to use, I really wanted mousse so badly for my baby hair today, but I don't have any more. So until I can find a store that I can get some from, I'm just going to have to just go with the holding spray only but you know it still came out really cute so um i'm just gonna go ahead now and swoop the baby hair for the other side chop it down use the got to be spray and my edge brush and get the baby hairs how i want it and then i will go ahead and give this hair and this is a 22 inch wig guys so i'm not cutting it short i'm just going to even up the ends and just make it blunt and then we will get into the final touches
so now that the baby hair is done i'm gonna go ahead and just grab my some you know grab my scissors and just cut the ends of this wig even just to give it that nice you know clean look so i just you know i took my scissors and just cut it straight across nice even and neat i pulled everything towards the back um that way it's even all around and like i said not making it shorter just evening up the ends to give it a nice neater look and just taking my big flat iron and just pressing down you know pressing that hair out nice and good and just combing it and then i will you know of course grab me some oil sheen and spread all over to get rid of those flyaways but before i do all of that i'm just going to take that same foundation color and just take a little brush and just clean that part up widen it up you know make it nice and neat um this is very important like this really brings out the style when you get that part to be perfect so i'm just taking that brush and i did not use any black spray because it was already thin so i just took the brush to um you know take that foundation and smoothen it up and wind it up so this is pretty much the finishing look i went ahead and installed it did the baby hairs um this style is really really cute i'm gonna do this style again probably with you know some color and stuff like that you know to hype it up but yeah this is pretty much it i'm just going over the ends with the flat i'm just making sure everything is nice and neat since i applied the oil sheen so i hope you guys enjoyed this little side swoop and baby hair tutorial um we have more videos dropping on the regular as you guys see i got my little quarantine thing going on so thank you guys for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe turn on your notifications and i will see you on the next tutorial bye guys